Dozens of new cases of coronavirus are being confirmed in the UK every day. The number well, of deaths is also slowly increasing. Victim, another 569 people have lost their lives, bringing the total number of deaths now to 2,021. have now died. 319 have died. Covid locked us up in March. It didn't say anything. It just tore apart any dreams cast to the stars. With the prologue so dark, many refused to read it. We awaited the bell, because then it signalled freedom. But it stripped away the hours where we laughed and sang and the future didn't matter. School timetables were replaced with ritual TV speeches, which threw up numbers so distressing it couldn't be scripted. Many lives will sadly be lost. They say Shakespeare captured tragedy. But no English lesson truly depicted that pull on our heart, the taste of guilt when there was nothing we could do, as we clapped our hands and swore to see it through. I remember holding the clock in my palms as I whisked the hands forward, because maybe if the numbers lied, I could pretend too. Skim through the first book and skip to the sequel, straight to the part where I didn't feel futile. That quarantine glow-up became my lifestyle. But no YouTube workout relieved the sweat in my mind, my moisturiser the tears which bled from my eyes when I finally felt that hug for the first time. The window looks out to a place seemingly unchanged, but the world is stripped back with everything it claimed. In our body sleeps a soul. It craves the life that waits like an interval, clutching for the moment we can reunite. As we look to the future, we must peel back the tape that shields our eyes, recover our reality, take back our lives and go forward to the days we always knew.